Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the effect of competitive inhibitors on the rate of an enzyme catalyzed reaction. In previous videos we've seen that enzymes contain an active site. The active site is a groove on the surface of an enzyme and a key feature of the active site is that it's complementary to a specific substrate molecule. In other words the substrate fits perfectly into the active site. This now forms an enzyme substrate complex. The enzyme can now catalyze the reaction forming the products. Once the products are released from the active site, the enzyme can now bind another substrate molecule and continue catalyzing the reaction. Now one idea you need to understand is that the substrate is not the only molecule that can bind to an active site. I'm showing you here a molecule which has a similar but not identical structure to the substrate. Just like the substrate, this molecule can also bind to the active site. But in this case, because it's not the substrate, no reaction happens. So after a short time, the molecule leaves the active site. Now the key idea you need to understand is that by occupying the active site for a short time, this molecule prevents the actual substrate from colliding with the active site. So because the frequency of collisions between the substrate and the active site is reduced, the effect of this molecule is to reduce the rate of reaction. Scientists call molecules like this competitive inhibitors. I'm showing an example here. Succinate is the substrate for an enzyme involved in respiration. The molecule malinate has a similar structure to succinate. Because of this, malinate can act as a competitive inhibitor, preventing succinate from colliding with the active site of the enzyme. And this means that malinate can inhibit respiration. So as we've seen, a competitive inhibitor competes with the substrate molecules for the active site. This means that we can reduce the effect of a competitive inhibitor by increasing the concentration of the substrate. In this example, I've increased the concentration of the substrate molecule while keeping the concentration of the competitive inhibitor the same. Now, there's a much greater chance that a substrate molecule will occupy the active site rather than the competitive inhibitor. So by increasing the concentration of substrate, we can reduce the effect of the competitive inhibitor. I'm showing you that in this graph. This shows an enzyme in the absence of a competitive inhibitor. We're increasing the substrate concentration and measuring the rate of reaction. As we've seen before, as the substrate concentration increases, the rate increases in proportion. However, at a certain substrate concentration, the rate no longer increases. This is because all of the active sites are occupied, so the rate is at a maximum, and scientists call this maximum rate Vmax. The lower line shows the same experiment, except that we've added a fixed concentration of a competitive inhibitor. As you can see, the competitive inhibitor reduces the rate of reaction. For example, at the point shown by the green arrow, the competitive inhibitor has reduced the rate of reaction by around 50% compared to the uninhibited enzyme. By temporarily blocking the active site, the competitive inhibitor prevents the substrate from binding and forming an enzyme substrate complex. However, as we increase the substrate concentration, the effect of the competitive inhibitor reduces. For example, at the higher substrate concentration, shown by the orange arrow, the competitive inhibitor has only reduced the reaction rate by around 20%. And at a very high substrate concentration, the rate of reaction is almost the same as when there's no competitive inhibitor present. Now, many drugs are examples of competitive inhibitors. For example, the drug methotrexate is used to treat certain cancers. And methotrexate is a reversible competitive inhibitor of an enzyme found in human cells. Another example is the antibiotic penicillin. Penicillin is a competitive inhibitor of an enzyme involved in the synthesis of bacterial cell walls. However, unlike methotrexate, penicillin binds irreversibly to the enzyme it inhibits. Now this raises an important point. Some competitive inhibitors bind irreversibly to the active site of enzymes. Because irreversible competitive inhibitors bind permanently to the active site, we cannot reverse the effect of these inhibitors by increasing the substrate concentration. That's because once an irreversible competitive inhibitor enters the active site, it never leaves, no matter what the substrate concentration. Okay, so hopefully now you can describe the effect of competitive inhibitors on enzymes. 